hey guys here is the excel data in the data table format can i convert it to json array is it possible to convert this excel data or the data table into the json array yes it is possible you can see there's a result which has come using this workflow i have done it myself rakesh and welcome back to my channel so let's understand how this can be done okay first of all let's start everything from the scratch and understand what you need is an excel file and in the excel file you need to have some data you write a small data id first name last name and email create a small data first once this is created go back to the studio and look for the excel activities simply type excel and then scroll down and you would find something called excel process scope this is the very first activity drag and drop and then drag and drop the use excel file activity inside the excel process scope and let's select the uh, excel file where my data is available so let me go to uh, documents and here i have this excel file done now the next thing i need to read the data from the excel for that there is something called you can simply type read excel or read range okay the read range is the activity drag and drop the read range activity here let me specify the file or the sheet from where i would like to read which is sheet 1 and the data should be stored into a variable called dt1 okay done after that i have to write a code to convert this excel data to a json array so how this can be done this can be done by using a assign activity okay before you write the expression in that you should go to imports and type newton soft so this is the namespace which is required okay so just type it newton and select the newton soft json just select it will get added okay all right once this is done let's write the expression let's create a variable because we would like to convert it to a json string so let me create a variable called json string okay you can give any name now here in the expression let's write the required expression this is important now here i have to write newton soft which is the namespace namespace dot json dot json convert okay okay then you have to serialize the object because it is in the dot net object format which is a data table format that should be converted into json string format so serialize object is the method which i have to use and simply i have to pass the variable dt1 so with that i am done okay with that i am able to convert the uh, data table into json string now the next thing what i need is to see how this one appears okay so let me use a message box and inside this let's write json string and see how this output is coming first of all okay so hope you are utilizing all the playlist which i have created on my channel and i hope you have already subscribed to my channel okay by end of this i have a question for you so let's see how the data table which was in this format now you can see the output is appearing in the json string okay now let's say this json string has to be converted to a json array so it is in the entire string format but it's not in a readable way right you can't read it properly so how can you convert that to a json array so to do that it's quite simple let me click on okay go back to the studio and let me know all the contents which i'm creating on the comment did that help you were you able to complete this exercise were you able to do this simply write yes you are able to complete so i know that many people are watching and are able to complete and utilize this okay write a comment how did you feel about this video what did you learn from this video now let's move on to our next part what is the next part i would like to use the activity called deserialize json and this is part of uipath.web.api activities which has to be installed okay 
so that package has to be installed so let me use the deserialize json array activity and here the output of the previous activity which is json string i will provide that and let's go to the property and here for the property of this activity let's create an output j i will say json object so json array right so let me give it a name called json array instead okay done now let's see how this json array is appearing by using a message box drag and drop and here let's simply say json array okay and this json array if you see uh, this specific json array is coming in the j array format so let's see how this one is appearing uh, by quickly running this all right okay this is the json string now i would like to convert that to json array so look at this how the entire data has come i hope you have learned a lot of things from this we are going to meet once again in our next video please do let me know in your comments did you feel did you learn something from this video if yes please do comment and what would you like to learn next so please do comment that i'm going to meet in the next video please do subscribe to my channel if you have not done it already and do comment whatever your questions you have i will try to reply to them Thank you guys. We are going to meet in our next content. Bye-bye.